Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 31, and this is war number seven, more than halfway done. And we're going up against an alliance called Malaysia Alpha. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to spectate, we're going to see what the defense looks like. I take path three in sections one and two. I don't have a defender on that first node, which is common. Then we've got Spider-Ham, which is annoying, but he shouldn't be too difficult. We've also got a mini uh, Captain Marvel movie version. Right now I'm thinking Nick Fury for both of those. And War Machine, Nick Fury can do that if necessary. Uh, Colossus, I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant. And then we've got Ebony Maw. If Nick Fury is still in good shape, he could take that fight. Or uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. She can do a very good job there as well. Uh, now, that second mini, um, unless I bring Warlock in, uh, I would not take that mini. All right, we got mini boss island, and I see we have an apocalypse boss. So I'll probably bring in Spider-Man 2099 in case it's needed. Uh, we've got up the left, Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, Clairvoyant can do that fight, but it wouldn't be all that fun. Uh, same thing with the uh, Mephisto, just stay in her uh, Curse of Hellfire, and that's not too difficult. We've got uh, America Chavez over there. On that note, I really like... Uh, folks that have um, power control, strong power control. Uh, I know Spider-Man 2099, he could do that fight as well. Uh, down at the bottom here, we've got King Groot. Probably will not touch that one, nor Killmonger. Uh, and probably not uh, Penny Parker. If I brought in Corvus then it'd be different. I, I could take out that uh, Penny Parker. Uh, Nick Fury can possibly do the Killmonger, but I've tried him, and because I run suicides and because of the chip damage, I usually didn't do too well when I was uh, testing him out on that node, so I'd try to avoid that node. Um, all right, so what it's looking like right now, looks like I'm going to bring in Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Spider-Man 2099. And as you can see, no one is over here for uh, Section 1 because they're asleep. So... Once I get done, and I actually stayed up a little bit later, uh, it's after midnight right now. After I get done fighting, I'll probably end up going to sleep, and there's no telling what I'm going to wake up to. Uh, they may have already cleared out um, my path, um, and if so, you know, I will try to take the boss if uh, they leave me the boss. I think they, they will. Uh, they saw what I was able to do with the boss with Spider-Man 2099, so um, hopefully that will happen. All right, so let's get uh, section one uh, down. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I'm going in with what has become uh, a standard team. You see uh, Doom, Human Torch. They they don't like those three, okay? And that's fine with me because I wasn't planning on bringing any of them in. 
All right. And this war, unlike the last war, you will get to see me fight the boss. Uh, last war I was telling you, I think it was last war or the war before that. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll go to sleep, wake up, and they've already cleared everything. So this is not one of those wars. So we've got our first fight, which is Spider-Ham. And I don't like fighting this little piggy. He's annoying. Really, he's easy to fight unless he evades and counters you real good. Um, I like to go against him with someone who doesn't rely on their specials, which is perfect for me because I run suicides and I don't want to fire my specials if I don't really have to. And against him, you know, I don't always look to see if I have poppers on me or anything like that. So it's just better not to fire the specials off. And you see, I was able to take him down uh, pretty easily. He never evaded. He never did anything. Now, this fight here, you have seen me fight Captain Marvel movie on this node. And I always use Nick Fury if I can help it. And this fight, you're going to see why. I mention it in other fights, and sometimes the fights go very well. But you're going to see something very interesting in this fight. All right, so standard fight, just like... Uh, Many of the fights before Okay, get the bleeds and look at that nice bleeds All right, we're chewing her down. This is great, right? She got a little bit of a regen from the masochism. It don't matter. All right, and look at this I'm letting the bleeds do they work Okay, and then what was that? All right, let me let me explain something to you what happened there. I was like trying to bait out her special and suddenly I lost control of my champion. That's what happened. I'm like, what is going on? So at this point, I'm like, all right, whatever. Look at that. Decoy gone. Okay. Now, I wasn't worried about losing the fight, but I lost my decoy just like that. That's why I like to bring in Nick Fury for any kind of shenanigans like that that happen. Okay. So now Nick Fury, the real Nick Fury is out, which is fine. I still have a good amount of health to go down to uh, that 30%. Now here, I woke up and you can see left side is cleared, middle is cleared. So I'm like, okay. And I look to see if they also cleared my path. They did not. So I'm like, all right. Now, the reason sometimes they clear the path and sometimes not, if the backup is needed elsewhere, he's gonna go elsewhere to help out because I don't really need any help on my path. But if there's no help needed, he may just boost up and just clear my path because it's likely the one path that's not uh, clear just yet when he's awake and then just go on uh, to the boss or uh, mini boss island. Now, as usual, when we see Colossus here, uh, we've mentioned in the past, Colossus is a great, uh, this is a great placement for Colossus. But I've got what I consider the perfect counter for Colossus on this node. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant doesn't lose to Colossus on this node, unless something really bad happens and I really mess up. But she, she doesn't lose to Colossus on this node. All right, um, his specials are very easy to evade. And so look at this, I'm just chilling, just in case he's trying to do something, catch me when I run backwards, because that happens also. You know, he don't move, I don't move. I dash back and he immediately pounces and catches me before I can recover. I don't like that. So I'll just be sitting there and I'm like, yep, we just gonna stare at each other. That's, that's what we gonna do. Until you move, we're gonna stare at each other. All right, now, Ebony Maul, he's annoying. Even when fighting him with like a human torch or something like that, you usually take some degen damage. But I found out something and unless you're getting hit, I think, with a special one or something like that, unless you have buffs, you don't have to worry about that degen damage. And guess who doesn't have buffs? Spider-Man 2099. Now, I usually reserve Spider-Man 2099 for the boss. But I'm like, why not? Now, Clairvoyant could have done this fight as well. You know, Nick Fury could have done this fight. 
But I'm like, you know what? Let's 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 go with a uh, Spider-Man because he can do more fights than the boss fight. He might be the best boss counter, but that's not all he is. He's not just a boss killer. All right, so he he can take out Mojos, he can take out um, Ebony Maws, he can take out quite a few. All right. Now I wasn't gonna touch that Doom. Mm -mm, not on that note. However, they left me Apocalypse. Now, by this time, we're pretty sure that we've lost the, the war. And I want you to notice something. He's fully charged up. One of my alliance mates went in there and got their butt handed to him by this Apocalypse. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! So I'm dealing with a, an Apocalypse that can stun me if I'm not careful. Now, normally when I fight Apocalypse on this node, which I've done a couple of times, um, I think some in off season, but one on season and it was a rank four, he wasn't boosted, he wasn't uh, fully charged up. All right, you can see that he has a little bit of his health gone. But like I said, we were pretty sure we had already lost this war. So they may have just gotten in there just to, you know, test the waters and see how they would do, you know, since we were already uh, going to lose this war. So I have to play him a little bit differently now. And I'm getting a little bit better at fighting with Spider-Man 2099. I'm still not there yet. Okay. But you'll see me hitting into his block a lot more uh, to build up the uh, ruptures. And because I have to fight him a little bit differently, I don't want to get hit by two mediums. Okay. So I'm just trying to bait out as many of his uh, specials as I can, okay? And I'm just going in. I'm just having myself a ball, okay? And here we go. Now, one thing that I noticed, I was taking a lot of uh, degen damage, and I need to figure out. I mean, I, I still do well against the apocalypse and everything. You know, that 75% um, percent damage resistance comes in clutch all right but as you can see here i'm just having myself a ball I'm, I'm throwing specials i'm running suicides but it don't really matter fire off my specials uh freely okay you see here i'm, I'm putting them ruptures on him hitting him into the uh, uh hitting into his block so i'm learning a little bit better okay and look at that i actually wanted to evade that one i said yeah let me evade it Instead of uh, taking the block, which I could have done, and then uh, just tearing them up. Now, I don't know if I'm maximizing my damage because uh, I build up the ruptures and then they, as you see, burst when he gets a bar of power. Every time he gets a bar of power, they burst. But I believe my special two also uh, is dependent on how many ruptures. So if they burst and then I fire the special two, I don't think I have maximized my damage. Somebody in the comments let me know if I'm correct on that. You know, do I want to build up the ruptures, wait until he has a lot of ruptures on him, and then fire the special two for the big, big boy damage? Or uh, am I doing it uh, okay? But look at my health. My health is, is lower than it usually is. And uh, I'm not worried, though. You know, I, I don't know at this point what was causing me so much damage though you know but we're gonna see at the end uh where we get a little bit of an analysis this time i just blocked it because we're so close i don't want to mess up okay and then here we go boom he's done done and done all right um not technically a solo because someone already had chipped a little bit away at him but We've already gotten a solo before. So you can see the uh, damage that I took here. Okay. And again, I took a lot from other, 22% from other. And that's with the, the resistance. All right. And the special attacks did a lot of damage. So between his specials and you know, you see, I didn't get hit at all. That's all block damage and, and other types of damage. All right. Uh, but anyway... That's it for this war. I got a chance to do uh, a, another boss fight, another uh, apocalypse. All right, so in a minute, we're going to come back and you're going to find out how this war ended.
and we're back and unfortunately we lost this war seems like we're going up and down up and down we win one we lose one we win one we lose one uh but it's all good that's going to do it guys for this war take care hit the like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day